God makes a law that a man's inheritance should be passed on to his daughters if he has no sons. This is a very progressive move, and this law, that the inheritance will go to the closest relative, sets up, sets up Boaz to become the kinsman redeemer in the story of Ruth. Moses isn't going to be entering the promised land. He asks God to appoint a successor. God chooses Joshua for Moses to pass some of his authority on to. Joshua is commissioned by the priests in front of the whole congregation. We see two kinds of passing on in this chapter, the passing on of position and the passing on of possession. What do you have to pass on? Before you start to think you're poor and that your kids are getting nothing when you die, stop and acknowledge God. In the last lesson we talked about taking stock, seeing all that he has done, all that he's given you. You have an inheritance to pass on. You have knowledge, you have skills, you have wisdom. You have love to give. Pass it on. You weren't gifted to have things for yourself. You weren't gifted to lift yourself up. In the New Testament, we're told our spiritual gifts are for the building up of the body of Christ. What we have is not for ourselves. Pass it on. And the same for your possessions. You must have some. Don't save up for yourself. Don't hoard for the some day that may never come. Bless others today. Bless others tomorrow. Give generously without fear of your own future. Trust that plan and that inheritance God has prepared for you. And I encourage you to think beyond your own immediate family. As an Israelite grafted into God's family, you have a larger family out there that you are connected to. You are blessed to be a blessing. Give thanks for your blessing and then give.